Good morning, good morning. Hi fam. If you are new, welcome to the family. My name is Magdalene Janet. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies for goodies. So you guys, I'm back with another sunscreen foundation review. I've never done that. It's a tinted sunscreen foundation. So if you don't know, I'm from LA. I live in LA. It's always sunny here. It's funny because today it's raining. The one day it rains, we legit don't get a lot of rain. Before we do that, let's start with some primer. I have oily skin. Tinted moisturizers tend to be very lightweight and they work out for oily skin, but I always like to mattify and show you guys different ways on how foundations, especially lightweight foundations work on oily skin. So I'm gonna use this mattifying primer. The thing about this primer, I really like it but you just have to um, wait for it to really absorb into the skin. So that usually takes about two to three minutes. This also has SPF 20. Although foundations and primers have SPF, I always recommend to wear your own SPF beforehand. Put mine on maybe about 20 minutes ago. I use the Kula sunscreen. It's really, really good. So sunscreen is going to be your best friend. And yeah. BRB? You guys, I did a dangerous thing and added some eyeliner. This could have literally taken me 20 minutes, but it didn't. This Fenty liner is so bomb. Like, I rarely mess up. It's crazy. What was I gonna do? I woke up today exhausted. I don't know why, because I went to sleep early, but then completely forgot I had to film. Here is the foundation, the tinted foundation. So Tower 28 is a clean vegan brand at Sephora. So let's shake this up. It sounds watery. So this is a very light natural coverage. So we will treat as such. Oh look, this is cute. I like this. How big is this? Oh, it's a one ounce bottle. And you know what's so cool? It has the expiration date up at the top. So here it's 8-2028. You see that number right there? 8-2028. Not bad, huh? So that's kind of cool. So let's go. I'm like all excited. looks like it'll be my shade it has a good undertone it is a little bit watery because it is a lightweight tinted foundation but it has like a thickness to it it has some umph good pigment it's pigmented but lightweight okay i see you i see you i'm just rubbing it in with my finger this helps to really feel the foundation oh look at that radiance with radiant products and oily skin you have to be careful because we can look gastadas fairly quickly. I always avoid the under eye area. It feels very, very moisturizing too. It turned on the lights. It's like your skin, but better, right? Before and after. It does give the skin a little umph because you can see this is like dull. And here we have nice, radiant, natural look. All right, cool. So what I am going to do is add this side and give you all the info about the product. The new Tower 28 Beauty Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Foundation retails for $30. I am in the shade Ocean Park. This comes in 14 shades. This is a two-in-one fragrance-free mineral sunscreen foundation with SPF 30. It is a light, medium, buildable coverage with a natural finish that's safe for sensitive and problem skin. The coverage is light, the finish is natural. Highlighted ingredients is non-nano zinc oxide, a sunscreen that protects from UVA and UVB damage, prickly pear extract that is reparative and helps protect from blue light pollution, white sage extract that reduces the appearance of irritation and helps neutralize free radicals from the sun. It feels very moisturizing. I feel this is like ideal for someone who has dry skin. Girl, look at this like radiant glowy toda la cosa all right not bad i like it i think it's very pigmented for the type of tinted foundation that it is it is currently 7 30 with any foundation reviews well lately the last month or so i let my foundation really just absorb into the skin i don't do anything just let it sit here for about 20 minutes so that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna let it sit and see how the skin reacts to it let's see if the skin remains this radiant you know so I'll be back in like 20, maybe 30 minutes. Hair combed and everything. So the skin is still very hydrated, like very. But I feel like it's warmed up to the skin a little bit. I do see a bit of a like, I don't know if it's a white cast, but you won't be able to see it through the camera because it's like literally if I'm at a certain angle. But 
we're still hydrated like very much so but not bad i really like that about the foundation sometimes foundation just could change up when they're on their own just drying down you know all right so what i'm gonna do is set the face with my powder puff and this maybelline banana setting powder and i'm gonna work the powder in so we make sure to lock this foundation down especially since we have oily skin the skin just looks very natural very very natural the radiance is kind of gone we did use a matte powder but i kind of like it i feel like it's doing what it's supposed to do does it feel wet oh yeah a little bit it's a true radiant because you know how we let it sit it's still like it feels tacky once we set it yeah for oily skin we have to really set this down i kind of like how the skin looks though it looks really smooth it's like smooth everything out light coverage but smoothing too blurring do we have that i think we do so what i'm gonna do is just finish up the face put bronzer blush really quick brb The lipstick I'm wearing is this one from Wet n Wild. Don't sugarcoat it. So cute. As I was doing the bronzer blush, you know, I did notice that because this is a very wet formula, you guys saw it did not dry down at all when we waited those 20 minutes. I feel like the bronzer went on a little patchy because it's wet, it's just grabbing onto whatever wet spot. It's just one of those things when you're working with something very, very wet, like a foundation. Even when we set foundation down, the skin literally still feels wet. It doesn't feel like it's set down. So that's just a tidbit. That's just like something I noticed right now. You see, it's like a little bit patchy, but it's kind of just part of the process. It's the type of formula we're working with. Something like this, what works best is probably like a cream bronzer or blush, and then probably set everything down with a setting powder. Especially because I have oily skin, I do use powders mainly because powders tend to just keep everything together for long periods of time as opposed to cream products because cream on oily skin girl will look real slippery in like four hours that was the only thing i think the skin looks really nice it looks radiant it looks healthy so far i'm okay i still kind of don't know how to feel about it because i just need to see how it works out throughout the day but it's only the beginning we still have another day left so let's jump in front of the window so you guys can see how it looks in daylight and see you later bye hola hola you see it's so gloomy today crazy it rained okay this is how the face looks look how radiant look you see the bronzer doesn't look patchy now but it was i promise <laughs> okay the skin looks healthy huh i like how it looks better it looks better in daylight for sure just looks healthy very radiant i'm kind of liking it here wow hey guys i'm back so it is eight in the evening, I've had the foundation on for 12 hours, but of course, before we get started, I always like to show you guys how the skin was looking in daylight at around three o'clock today. At this point, everything was looking pretty good. I felt like we still looked very similar from the morning time. Nothing really changed. I didn't look glowy or more dewy from the morning time. And here we are now about 12 hours later, and I really feel like the foundation has settled in the skin very well in which i'm not too oily i don't look gastada the foundation's still on i don't see much of a difference i just feel like my skin looks like even more skin i mean i do have like my oils right there but that's always gonna happen with the very radiant and hydrating foundation i'm never gonna be matte and we knew that starting off because the formula is very very wet but i'm just really surprised how the skin looks at this point i didn't touch up i didn't do anything talk about touch-ups let's touch this up this is just a sponge i used earlier today and i'm just gonna get the t-zone you can see how the skin looks and Surprisingly, look, the foundation's still on. You can see it. 
I'm just like surprised that the foundation is just still on. I could have promised in the morning time because of how it went on, how dewy it is. It was just going to completely rub off. And this is it for day number one. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to day number two using Tower 28 foundation sunscreen foundation which is different you know i've never tried like a sunscreen foundation my hair i'll comb it eventually by the way this shade ocean park number 25 is a really good shade i think it warms up very well it oxidizes very little but it does oxidize so let's so today we are not going to use primer let's see how it works on its own with nothing on because yesterday i feel like we had a pretty good day I'm going to use a brush today also. Then I'm just going to stipple it on, literally working it in the skin. Like how it's going on with the brush. The finish looks very similar. It doesn't look like it's fuller coverage than yesterday. So what I want to do is layer it, but let's let it dry down for a little. So it is 736. I'll probably wait five minutes come back layer it on and then let's see what happens all right all right so it's been five minutes let's go in with maybe not as much because we don't want to look cakey either i don't think this would get cakey though it's not that type of vibe but let's get it in the perimeter of the face mouth area and here at the top i always avoid the very very middle because that's where all my big pores are that's where warmth really could gather pro product and then it can look really cakey and oh, at the end of the day in the middle of the face, especially with our oily skin. I, 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 I like this foundation and I'm pleasantly surprised because usually this wouldn't be my type of foundation. Look at this. It's natural, but it has coverage. That pigment. Like you can still see my mole, but not super visible. So it's 7.45, I need to go comb my hair. I'll be sitting around for 30 minutes. I wanna see if it dries down a little more since we have such a wet formula. So I'm literally all over the place. I added concealer, so that's the only thing I did differently, but I didn't touch the face. Oh, I comb my hair too. Look at the skin, still radiant, but is it me or it's not as radiant as it was yesterday? It feels wet, but it feels like a little dried down. I don't see that it's as glowy as yesterday, but we're still radiant and glowy, you know? Okay, cool. So I think the longer you wait to let this foundation sit, the better, because it really takes time to dry down. I know waiting 20, 30 minutes is a really long time. I know it's probably not feasible for most people but i promise you if you let your foundation sit even for five minutes it does make a difference when it comes to longevity so let me just set these under eyes and i'll be back today i'm gonna use the most matte powder i have which is this makeup forever hd powder and i'm gonna tap it in the face like we did yesterday really work the powder in with my powder puff actually as i'm setting my face i want you to see the difference this is the set with the very matte powder and this is not you see the radiance versus matte? Okay, maybe our blush and bronzer will go on a little bit differently, you know? It does still feel wet, so this is a very different formula. I've never seen this before where you set your foundation down and it still feels wet. That just lets us know that it's a very hydrating foundation and it's radiant, like you'll never have dry specks anywhere because it's just that type. So I kind of like that because that's very different. So let me just finish up the face. Okay, I'm wearing the same lipstick I wore yesterday because I just liked it so much. It's like such a cherry red, you know? Okay, so skin, you guys. Today, I feel like, well, no. The bronzer and blush went on pigmented like it did yesterday, but this time I just was expecting it more. So it's not as intense. Wait, I do have a patch here. Hold on. Yesterday I forgot to mention that the blush and bronzer just look super natural throughout the day. Like the way your skin warms up with this foundation, it's just like, it all melts like butter. It's the craziest thing. Look at the skin. Our radiance is still coming through. That looks a little janky, but it's okay. 
especially using the mattest powder I own, you don't feel like dry. Like, like, do you know what I mean? But anyway, okay, wow, what's this here? Let's jump and run in the window and see you later. Bye. All right, all right, look at the skin. You see how like pigmented the blush looks? But I'm not mad at it. The skin looks just as equally nice today. The skin looks so smooth for the foundation to be so radiant. That's what's like throwing me off because look at these pores. They're not there. I mean, they are, but you know. Okay, okay. I have some thoughts. All right, see you later. Hey, I'm back. So it is almost nine o'clock. I've had the foundation on for 12 hours, but of course, before I get started, I do want to show you how the skin was looking at around three o'clock today. I didn't see much of a difference. And here we are now 12 hours later and we are quite glowy. I feel like in the nose area, you see right here how it gathers. Like I noticed that yesterday, it really gathers like right here, right on the nose, but that does happen with oily skin. But nonetheless, the skin looks really good. No lie. A little bit radiant, but that, you know, is always gonna happen. Some of the mouth area is gone. But what I think about this foundation, I think it's really good for what it is. A very lightweight, sunscreen, radiant, moisturizing foundation. It literally does what it says it's going to do. If you like something very natural, radiant, something that's gonna wear beautifully, blur the skin and have longevity, this is the perfect one for you, especially because it does have sunscreen because it's just so moisturizing. It kind of feels like a moisturizer, just with a lot of pigment. If you're a full coverage girl that just doesn't really like the whole natural look, this may not be for you. I personally really, really liked it. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did because I do like a fuller coverage, but lately I've been loving that radiant, softer look, but to have pigment in it, you know? So I feel like this does provide the best of both worlds. If I do use it or if I do want a little bit more coverage, I can add a little bit of a regular foundation, mix it, and it will just give you the perfect finish. So overall, I like this. I think this is such a great foundation, especially because it's a sunscreen foundation and it's a clean brand. I think it worked really well on oily skin. That's what I was just very skeptical because the formula was so wet, you know? And most importantly, I don't look gastada. Like that was one of the things I was going to, I was thinking about like, are we going to look gastadas? Are we going to look super greasy? But we don't. I mean, the radiance is there from like the morning time, but we still look well put together. And look, the blush and bronzer looks good. It kind of like just turns into skin, you know? Let me know your thoughts about this. Have you tried it? Have you used anything from Tower 28? This is actually my first time using this brand and I'm very, very pleasantly surprised how well it worked. But let me know what your thoughts are. Have you seen it around? Have you tried the brand? You know, I'm always in the comments to chatting it up with you. And I think this is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.